first tree. The first tree? I'm reviewing the first tree. And I am okay with this game. I like this game generally. I don't really see the point of it. And, well, I guess I kind of get the point of it, but I just don't think it works. Uh, the first tree tries to be an indie game that's very simple and kind of cheaply made on purpose. Knew her last cub would be waiting for her. But it's supposed to be beautiful. She was almost there. The rain cascaded. How do you run? Yeah, you've got to push Y to alternate between Life was running. And oh my gosh, really? Oh, I didn't want to go down there. There was stuff up there. I don't think I can climb back up the hill, can I? No. Geometry is kind of weird. The thing about this game is, I guess it's beautiful. I guess. In that way where it's like, yeah, I can see my friend. I can see a friend who's really passionate about game making make this game by himself in a year. Maybe not the entire game, but at least a level of this where you could... You could figure out how to copy and paste aspects of the level. I guess I'm supposed to collect these. I don't really understand the value of these. Obviously, I didn't start from the beginning. This is just a little cheap game review. There are... This game has puzzles in it, I guess. Oh my gosh. I don't know what, why I can't do that. Look at that cute fox. If you like foxes, this is the game for you. There's very few mechanics. There's walk and run, uh, which you basically always want to run. You can move the camera, you can move around, obviously. And you can turn on a dime, which I, I do appreciate that it's like full control, including in the air, where you're going. Even though it looks awkward, it is nice to control. Uh, but then you have a jump and a double jump. And the double jump is a little finicky, like, here, I'll try and mess it up on purpose. Yeah, see, I pressed it too late there. What if I press it too early? Yeah, I can't press it too early, and I can't press it... Oh, I pressed it a little late. That worked. Yeah, that one didn't work. Yeah, that one didn't work. Okay. Oh, the thing disappeared. Where am I supposed to be? Right here? Oh, there's a dig thing? How do you dig? With A. Okay, it's been a long time since I've felt dug. I haven't felt in a long time. So the Drive. the point of this game the schools on the West is that there, it's a story the that a fox, you're a fox in like a dream, and the person whose dream you're in has these conversations. I'm pretty sure it's just him. There might be two of them. I'm going to turn the audio up a little. But now even an internship sounds impossible. Yeah, subtitles. And I can't push B to get out of the start Seems menu. I have to push, go down to back to game. And he also said so you're basically just listening to a monologue, like to an hours long monologue, like a job or even a strange dream while you kind of play a game. For. Even if the yeah, strange dream about a fox, there it is. There's some beautiful parts of the game. It just feels very... Oh, I'm... I'm... Look, I really don't want to be judgmental. I'm just saying from my perspective, which is just my perspective, it doesn't have to be everyone's perspective. From my perspective, this is very self-indulgent. As if someone said, I'm going to make a beautiful game that's all about the story. And in their head, they knew that what that really meant was no one can criticize the game because it's not meant to be like other games. It's meant to be this beautiful story, an anim a, a video game story, an animated, not animated movie, but uh, a video game movie. I don't know. It just comes off to me as pretentious without having the goods to back it up. Can I get up there? Probably. Let's try this corner. 
Okay. Was I supposed to be able to do that? Maybe. How many of these starlight things am I supposed to be getting? I have no idea. Hey, look, there's a house. Oh, there's logs. Okay. So all in all, this game is relaxing. That is definitely a pro. I am thinking this game might be a three out of five for what it is. For my personal tastes, maybe a two out of five. There's not really a lot of gameplay that's engaging. It's it's repetitive and, and relatively, oh, and I got stuck, okay. It's pretty repetitive and it's pretty meaningless. Look, I climbed a log. What do I get for it? Nothing. Zero out of five game. No, just kidding. Oh. <sighs> like, you hear, there's not even story being told. Here, I'll go to that shiny bit. There's not even story being told right now. It's just a fox roaming a kind of pretty environment. It is house. The house is that way. Thank you, baby blocks. Wasn't it up? Where was the house? I thought I saw it. Can I not see it anymore? I guess I'll follow where the baby blocks told me to go. Yeah, it, it feels weird to have such an open game. It's obviously not open. Well, not obviously. You guys haven't, been, haven't played it as much as I have. It's not open world. It's open environment. So each level, I don't even know why it's separated into levels. But each level is pretty open, which is kind of, that is fun, being able to just explore at your own pace and say, do I want to try and get all these starlight things? Do I want to try and get all of the story sections? Or do I just want to try and get to the end of the level? Which I don't think the end of the level is completely locked to getting all the starlight pieces or getting all the story bits. So look a little fleur de -lis for some reason. Maybe they were French. Who knows? This seems like an important story beat. A house in the middle of a rainy forest. Look, I get it. It's relaxing. It was not an expensive game. Uh, let's see, this is the first tree on Switch. I surely got it on sale. Yeah, it's $9.99 to buy I'm sure I got it for $4.99 or less. Um, you know, it's it's not expensive. Ten, $10 is too much to charge for this game. Um, maybe like $7 or $8. Gosh, and it's tough because there is a there are a lot of environments. Can I even go this way? Okay. There are a lot of environments in the game. Oh. Oh. Well, I want that house. Well, let's try and climb the mountain. So, you know, you I like the open environments, and there's several of them. I'm surprised at how long this game has gone. I mean, at the risk of revealing all of the stuff that I play, I um, played for one hour or more. So it's less than two hours so far. Um, fewer, fewer than two hours that I've spent on this game... And I feel like I've gotten near the end. I, I, I don't know to be truthful, but I can't imagine it is more than a three hour game. Three hours max. Okay, I'm climbing the mountain. See, see, I, I like this. I like that I can climb the mountain even if maybe I'm not intent. No, there's an invisible wall. No, but I wanna go up here. Come on, Fox. Get the ground, get the ground. Come on, find find footing. Yeah, 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 go Fox, go. You can do it. I'm making this game into Breath of the Wild. <laughs> yeah, 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 come on, go on Foxy. Come on, why aren't you double jumping? For people who like foxes, I, I, I'm sure that, wow, I didn't think I would make it up here. I mean, that's very fun. It's very fun that I made it up here. 
Is there an invisible wall blocking me from this house? If there is, I'm gonna be so mad. <gasps> oh my goodness. This is a zero out of five game. I understand that I wasn't supposed to be able to get up here, but how can I not try? Look, I'm literally walking without trouble up here. It's clearly uh, textured or mapped, I don't know the terminology, to be flattish, to be walked upon. How, how in the world are you gonna put a cool structure up here and make it impossible for me to visit it? I mean, I guess I'm close to it and there's nothing there. So I'm basically visiting it. But also, that makes me so sad. So anyway, three out of five for what it is. It's trying to tell a story, which I think is pretty. And look at the shadows phasing in like that. I guess it doesn't want to take up too much memory or whatever. It's trying to tell a story. I don't really care about the story. Uh, it hasn't made me care. It's very mopey and uh, introspective. Just emotions and feelings that are unappealing to me. Maybe they're appealing to other people. I can imagine a certain type of person playing this game and thinking, oh wow, this was such a great experience. But I just, oh look at that, is that a reflection of the sky? This is a, is this a glass field? Huh, or are we gonna get a story bit? No, this seems like a story bit. You know, get well soon. Uh, please get well soon, we miss you. Get well soon, get well soon, and get well soon. Hmm. I wonder what this is trying to say. Anyway. Very mopey and introspective. There are other words. Might as well not even spend more time trying to think of how to describe how to describe this game. I, it's kind of a two out of five for me because the gameplay is so dull. Uh, but you get points for being relaxing. You get points for being basically beautiful. There is a sense of wonder that comes from this sort of game that makes me think. Oh wow, this is this is a nice looking game, nice enough looking game that I feel like with a year of hard work I could make. So there's a there's an entrepreneurial spirit that is sparked in me when playing this game, which I don't think is really intended. But yeah, if you like playing as an animal, that might be that might be good for some people. It is a man and a woman who go I'd back and forth. Holidays. Gotcha. And he would call on my birthday. Um, I guess we acted like nothing ever happened. But there are so just many things didn't want to that just don't matter. And I'm sure he didn't want to ask about my job search. I never went Here, back walk. this is a walk speed. Why would you ever walk? I think the last conversation we had was about what movies we had seen and what exactly a best boy is in the credits. I have wondered about what a best boy is. I'm pretty sure so it's a person who holds things, maybe a boom mic. I took a couple film classes in college, but we never learned what a best boy was other than the family dog. What in the world? That's creepy. That's creepy time. I can't move. I can't do anything. In the distance, the first tree. This is like the end of the game, I bet. <laughs> it couldn't go home anymore. All right, so I'm gonna quit there just in case it saves, because I do want to. I am playing this game with a friend some on occasion, and I want them to see the ending too. I think that this is a beautiful attempt at therapy for perhaps the game makers. I think that it is a nice, relaxing experience. It's not worth $10.
Uh, it's a good $5 game if you can find it on sale, I guess, if you like this sort of thing that's just relaxing and experience, not a lot of gameplay, a lot of story, very serious, um, deals with uh, death of family, it seems. And um, so if that's your jam, then go ahead, three out of five. But if it's not your jam, two out of five, I do not recommend. Uh, great work on this game. It's not for everyone, it's not for me, but it is for some people. So I think that that's where I'm gonna leave it. I hope that was helpful. And good, 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 good